I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today, five business casual outfit ideas for spring. Business casual is a very interesting dress code, and how you approach business casual is, of course, dependent on where you work. For our purposes here, let's just agree that business casual means put together, but not overly dressed up. And this first look is, I think, a great example of not just business casual, but also how to do business casual for spring. It's a very classic look with a classic menswear color palette of blues and browns. You know, as we transition from winter into spring, some of the biggest things you should be paying attention to are your fabrics. Actually, the biggest thing. Flannels and tweeds need to go to the back of your closet and your cottons, linens, and frescoes should be coming to the front. That's practical. Lighter fabrics will keep you cooler in the warmer months and also aesthetic because these fabrics just look like the season. And here, the jacket is a great example of that. It's in a silk linen fabric from Suit Supply. It has an amazing texture. It's subtle, but it also kind of really stands out at the same time. Uh, I paired it with an ice blue Oxford cloth button-up shirt, which is from our MTM collection with Michael Andrews. My trousers are a cotton linen blend. They're from a brand called Incotex. They have a really great off-the-rack fit, definitely recommended. Simple white pocket square. On my wrist is the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel. Brown suede belt is by Luca Filoni. And then finally, finished off with a pair of brown suede loafers. These are the Mr. Casual by Belgian Shoes. Up next, we have another super classic look, especially for spring. This one is all about color and again, fabrics, starting with a jacket. It's from the HSS Michael Andrews collection, part of a suit, but because it is in a hopsack weave fabric, it can easily be worn as a separate. Hopsack has many great qualities, especially when we're talking about spring style and spring business casual style. It's got a little bit of texture, which dresses it down, and it's a very cool fabric, both literally and figuratively. Also want to point out that patch pockets give it that more casual feel. Underneath, we have a cotton shirt in a spring-like color, light pink. It's not solid, it's actually a microstripe. I don't know if that's gonna show up on the video, but I like it because I think it complements the texture of the jacket, even if it is very subtle. Trousers are cotton, they're by Ring Jacket. I need to get them lengthened just slightly. I brought them to the cleaners and they shrunk a little bit, just wanted to get ahead of that. Uh, again, simple white pocket square. Cartier Tank American on the wrist and then anchored by a pair of suede tassel loafers by Morhas. Next look here is a little bit of a variation on a theme. It's a very similar color palette to the first look. Actually, uh, it's exactly the same, but the vibe is completely different, and that is because we are replacing the jacket, which you'll remember was a tan silk linen with this long sleeve polo. It's amazing to me how different this one change makes the entire outfit feel. Uh, in a way, I think it skews it more to the casual side, but it's still elevated and very put together. One of the biggest reasons for that is the fabric of the polo. It's a cashmere long sleeve polo from Luca Filoni. Cashmere doesn't really seem like a spring fabric, but this is lightweight enough that it works. And you know, there are cooler days in the spring as well. Underneath, we have the exact same foundation as the first look, ice blue HSS Michael Andrews Oxford cloth button up and navy Incotex trousers. Keeping a more business, dressy vibe here with the watch. It's Rolex Datejust, 36 millimeters, Jubilee bracelet, and also the shoes. These are the Fifth Avenue by Allen Edmonds. All right, this look, I'll admit, you've probably seen before if you're a fan of the channel. I love this combination. It's simple, it's classic, it's easy, it always looks good, and because it is so simple and so classic, it leaves room for subtle variations that can tweak the overall feel ever so slightly. I've done that in one specific way here to play into the more business casual side of things, but before we get to that, let's go over the foundation of this outfit. The jacket with the subtle blue window pane is by Reese from a long time ago. We're gonna try to get a similar style in the shop. Two button, peak lapel, flat pockets with a ticket pocket. It's part of a suit, but I think it works even better as a standalone sport coat. Trousers are by Ring Jacket, got the two inch cuff on the bottom. Shirt, simple white poplin, HSS Michael Andrews. And then the tie, which is sort of the more casual aspect of this look. It's a silk knit tie. It's by Gitman Vintage. It has a squared off bottom, which gives it a way more casual feel. Simple white pocket square on my wrist. Again, the Rolex Datejust. And then a great business casual shoe, McAllister Wingtip Oxfords by Allen Edmonds. 
Final look here definitely says spring and definitely says business casual. The business part of the equation obviously is the jacket. It's by Suit Supply, double breasted, big peak lapel. Fabric is a lightweight wool and it has a great subtle herringbone pattern to it. Wearing a double breasted blazer without a tie is tricky. Uh, I know it's not gonna be for everyone and wearing a double breasted blazer with jeans is also tricky. But if you caught my how to wear a blazer with jeans video, all those same rules apply, so I definitely recommend checking that out. Underneath, I have my favorite ice blue Oxford cloth shirt from our collection. The extra button unbutton gives it that casual feel and also kind of coordinates with the sweep of the lapel. White jeans, they're by J. Crew, the 484 fit. Lighter color, a great choice for spring and also very easy to pair with a variety of colors up top. Sunglasses are by Oliver Peoples. These are the banks. On my wrist, the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel. And then finally, suede tassel loafers by Morhas. So five different ways to do business casual this spring. Be sure to pay attention to your fabrics and don't be afraid to bring out some lighter colors. Leave your comments down below and rank the looks from your most favorite to your least favorite. Thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified every time we publish a new video. Until next time, everyone, thanks for watching and stay tailored.